Hi again there. Today we are going to speak about this phrase nil paid. Nil paid refers to a security that is tradable but that the original owner did not pay anything for. The original owner incurred no costs associated with it. By way of example, as a means of raising capital, a company will offer shares to their existing shareholders at a discount. So it's either a right or an option to buy shares at a discount. Now the existing shareholders can sell these rights even though they are nil paid, meaning that the existing shareholders have not paid anything for these rights, but they can nevertheless sell them to a third party. When you talk about something being nil paid, nil means none, zero, no, nothing. Nothing's been paid. And its use generally is as an adjective when you talk about nil paid rights in this context. Persecute and prosecute. Persecute means to torment, oppress, or to treat somebody unfairly usually because of their race, religion, or perceived weakness, or belonging to some sort of a social group. A person who commits a persecution is a prosecutor. Prosecute means to bring legal charges against someone, usually in a court of law and usually criminal charges. Those that bring prosecutions are called prosecutors. In the US, prosecutors are known as district attorneys, DAs, or state attorneys. In the United Kingdom, prosecutors are usually known as Crown prosecutors as a work for the Crown Prosecution Services. Now, it is possible these days, if you are persecuted, to be able to prosecute for that. Most countries have statutes which prosecute hate crimes or which are otherwise called bias-motivated crimes. A hate crime is typically a crime of violence which is motivated by hatred of the group to which the victim belongs. Usually, this group is a racial group, a religious group, of a particular sexual orientation, a group of disabled people, or something like that. So, these days, you don't have to stand up for being persecuted the way many religious and racial groups did all through time. They can contact their local prosecutors and see that their tormentors get prosecuted for persecuting them. Thank you for understanding. Hi, I'm back again. Today we're going to speak about two words which are pronounced the same way, but they are entirely different terms, which lead to some confusion. And this is a mistake that's made quite often. The noun principle with an LE at the end means a rule, doctrine, or standard. So, an example sentence for that would be something like a principle of management is that you should treat your employees like you want your employees to treat your customers. Principle with an AL at the end as a noun, means a person with an important role or a high position or a person on whose behalf an agent acts. So some sample sentences for a principal would be On Saturday the principals to the contract had a meeting. Another meaning of the noun, the person on whose behalf an agent acts comes into play in legal English when you are talking about the law of principal and agent 
or the law of agency. So you might say that she serves as an agent for a principal who wishes to remain anonymous. Principal, with an AL at the end, can also be used as an adjective. When it's used as an adjective, it's generally used to describe something as being primary or chief or the most important. So, for example, one sample sentence would be a faulty fuel line was the principal cause of the engine's explosion, so it's the primary cause in that example. One final usage of the term principal with an AL at the end would be in the context of banking, which may come up if you work with financial transactions and that is principal as a sum, particularly the sum that has been borrowed from a bank or lent from a bank and on which the borrower is making payments. So an example sentence in that regard would be the borrower was able to make the minimum payment which covered the interest but did not reduce the principal. Now it's time to speak about public company. There is often confusion over the term public company. Now a public company is actually a reference to a legal term which is public limited company and this is a company that is permitted to offer its shares to the general public. This could be also by way of the stock exchange, although companies which are on a stock exchange are often referred to as either listed or quoted companies. A public company should also be distinguished from a private company also referred to as a private limited company. This is a company which is not permitted to offer its shares to the general public, but both public and private companies operate in what is known as the private sector. A public company should not be confused with what is known as state-owned company. So a public company is a public limited company but it's not a state-owned company. A state-owned company is a company which is owned by the government for the benefit of the general public, but the difference there is that it operates in the public sector. Ultra vias is a Latin phrase which means beyond or outside the powers of and the ultra vies doctrine is usually applied in reference to the actions of corporations or directors or government bodies and public authorities. With regards to corporation, a corporation may be set up for a specific purpose. If a company enters into a contract which is outside the purpose for which the company has been set up, then the company can be said to have entered into an ultra vias contract. Directors of a company have certain powers or limitations in their powers. If they should go beyond their powers or exercise the powers in their own way, then we can say that they have carried out ultra vias actions and shareholders may then sue the directors to recover losses for ultra-vise acts. With regards to government bodies or public authorities, there may be statutory instruments which determine what these public authorities or bodies are allowed to do as well as the procedure or process for them to carry out their various actions. Should these public bodies go beyond the powers given to them by statute or should they not follow the rules in coming to a certain decision, then the decision made can be challenged as being ultra vias or outside the power of that particular body. Thank you very much for your attention.